What's up Wanderers? Today I am thrilled to bring you back to the Eagle Creek Trail. Alright, here we are back on the Eagle Creek Trail and I am thrilled to bring you guys back here because in 2017 the Columbia River Gorge suffered a devastating 50,000 acre fire and the start of it happened right here on this trail. Um, so it's been years since I was able to come back and visit um, and you can see you can see some of the burn but you can also see where it started to recover and trail crews have worked for several years now to get this back open to the public. It is a favorite of most Pacific Northwesterners and in the Columbia River Gorge. Um, so today we're gonna go up to Tunnel Falls. It'll be a total of about 12 miles. Um, I would love to go to Wadham Lake, but unfortunately uh, the trailhead to that is closed right now. Um, so we're gonna go up and see Tunnel Falls and check out everything along the way. It feels so good to be back on this trail. This what has always been one of my favorites and I was absolutely crushed in 2017 when it was on fire and just watching I mean we were looking I live on the Washington side so we were looking across the gorge and just watching the fire just ravage the area and then at one point um, the fire jumped the gorge and, and and lit up on the Washington side and it was really really sad to see and unfortunately it was started by fireworks so I have always been a huge fan of fireworks they're so fun but I have since kind of reevaluated my opinion on them because I value these places so much more than you know limited entertainment that fireworks give so all right so parts of the trail are kind of narrow and they put this extension line up for you so that you can feel safe on the cliff edge ah. I really like this feature for anybody who's a little bit scared of heights, you know, or kind of these terribly narrow but a little bit if that makes you a little nervous it gives you that extra assurance um, I know for certain my daughter and son they they don't like these tight walkways so uh, just be prepared for that if you're gonna come out here bringing dogs kids or anybody who happens to be a little intimidated by heights it's really important to make note of that when you're planning your trips. We're just moving up, up, up. Moving up above Eagle Creek. Alright you guys, we are at exactly a mile and a half. So, and we get to see our first big waterfall. You get glimpses of it coming up the trail but we're right above it at a mile and a half. And this is Metlaco Falls. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, really pretty little glimpses of it. Unfortunately, the spur trail that used to lead to it uh, has been closed and destroyed due to the fire. Um, so hopefully one day we'll get that open again, but for now we gotta wait on that one. just reached lower punch bowl falls trail which is a spur off of our main trail so 
let's go take a peek. This is going to drop you down to the river floor. So it's a bit of a climb back up, but definitely, definitely worth it. tip that if I cross the creek I can get back to Punchbowl Falls and take a look so bring river sandals I'm gonna take my shoes off and just go for it but I have to shut the camera off I did not bring the waterproof case so I'll see you on the other side made it across no tragedies nothing fell or anything so uh, let's go see Punchbowl Falls I better get my shoes on it's rocky in here so Bring river sandals or water shoes, that would be helpful. Or take your shoes off and go barefoot. <laughs> You're gonna have to work your way around a lot of this like crumbly boulders and stuff. Oh, you can see a beacon. All right, so here's my dilemma. I've crossed here. Now I'm on this rock and I wanna go over there behind that big boulder to see the falls. But I'm stuck at this crossing. And if I go in there, I mean, I'm going up to my chest at least and it's a fairly decent current, which means I'll could potentially soak everything in my pack and I like stepped on this handy dandy and that's sketchy as hell so I think I'm gonna hold out on this one I may be on my way back from Tunnel Falls I'll stop back by here and just wade through so because I have four more miles up to the falls so I think on my way back I'm gonna try this little side excursion again not right now though I gotta turn back and make my way back over there it was worth a try scoping it out for later so according to the Apple watch you only go down 0.2 miles below the main trail to visit uh, lower Punchbowl Falls uh, so I paused it while I was down there. So I'm gonna start it up again and that'll add just less than half a mile to our overall journey today, which is not bad at all. We've reached the upper section to see uh, Punchbowl Falls from above. sad to see the burn and during it apparently hikers got uh, trapped in here um, and rescue had to come in and, and get them out and hike them to Metlat Lake trailhead um, so apparently they spent a very tough night out in the wilderness trying to make it to that lake and I would not have wanted to get be caught out here during that fire because um, you can just see I mean 50,000 acres uh, and you can see how hot it got I mean it goes halfway up a lot of these old trees and some of the trees didn't, didn't make it at all I mean, they're just 
you know, the fire weakens them and it burns from the inside and then they just drop off and bust. So that would have been very scary, but. Okay, so I am at 3.6 miles and we have reached Metlaco, Metlaco Falls. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. One of those absolutely gorgeous waterfalls along the hike here. Just past Lewitt Falls, we reach one of these narrow, kind of sketchy spots again. Uh, we have this cable wire for protection um, and we're coming up to High Bridge, which is 120 feet above the canyon floor. So it's it's a high bridge. So let's go check it out. Ooh yeah. If you get a little nervous about heights, <laughs> this one's gonna test it. <laughs> so the sign for high bridge says 3.3 miles. My watch says 3.7, so counting in the quarter mile for the lower punch bowl falls. Um, give or take, it's roughly about three and a half miles to High Bridge. Chuck Falls. Really, really pretty. I really wish I could get to the bottom of that and take a picture. That would be cool. I guess we'll see further on if there's any way to get a little closer. That was my best move. Uh, I went down and found, just to see if I could get a nice picture, I went down to these old campsites that have kind of beat up um, and then looked around to see if I could get a nice picture in there. But the rocks in there are very slick and you have to bushwhack and I got my legs all scratched up, which is, you know, fine, but I just want to advise anybody that if you decide to make your way through the campsites, to the top of the falls be very mindful of your footing uh, it is very slick in there and I would hate to see somebody you know make a poor step and a poor decision and you know end up anything bad happening I'm not even gonna say nothing I'm not even gonna say it but just be warned be mindful love yourself love nature love the trail Just hit nine, not my nine, huh. just hit five miles and we've climbed about 900 feet in total. Um, and we've been kind of sitting low 
at the river, but we're gonna start going up a little bit. The trail's gonna start climbing a little bit as we make our way to Tunnel Falls. And that will be right around the six mile mark. Let me know down in the comments, now that Eagle Creek is open again, is it on your list to come visit? Uh, have you been before? Ooh, so pretty. Somebody was nice enough to make a smooth little footbridge. But you know what? I think I'm gonna take a break from the trail and I'm gonna go up and take a picture of that waterfall because that's just too tempting. See if I can hop, rock skip, not get wet. Well, I came up a little bit and I've kind of come to a a spot with a choice. I can either turn back and make my way back down or I can take my shoes off and get my feet wet. I mean, I think I'm gonna get my feet wet and just see how it goes. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't. It's worth a try though, right? Woo! Kinda of feels good. A little cold. Oh, ouch! Rocky. <laughs> Ooh, berries. Let's say one thing. You have to be kind of determined. Ouch! 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 Uh. Ow! Messy! Oh, maybe. I might get a good view of it. If my feet survive. Oh. <laughs> Jessica, always bring your freaking sandals. worth beating on my feet for. Yep, it's 
definitely worth the busted feet and little bushwhack. <laughs> yep, and I don't think anybody, there's nobody else coming up here, so. I got a little special all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on trail, back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Let's go see Tunnel Falls now. We're so close, so close. The watch says we're at 6.3 miles and 1146 elevation climbed. So we are so, so close because all of the maps say Tunnel Falls is six miles in. So I'm expecting with all our little side adventures that <laughs> uh, we are coming right up to it here very, very quickly. How cool is this hike? I mean, it's so fun. You're not just in the forest or just on the cliffside. You get to go through it all and we get all the features. River, cliffside, burn area, old growth, forest, waterfalls. I mean, this one, this is the, honestly, the, the favorite of the Columbia River Gorge, if you ask me and many others. to Apple Watch for at 6.6 miles and 1,231 vertical feet uh, to reach Tunnel Falls, which is a 175 foot tall waterfall. 
absolutely stunning. The tunnel behind it is incredible. Ah, I love it. So going on, we have one more stop uh, before I turn around and make the journey back. Um, and that's one more waterfall. I believe it's called Twister Falls and it's worth it. Uh, because it's only a half mile further. So if you've already come this way, you might as well go see the last waterfall. <laughs> so this final stretch of the trail is called Vertigo Mile because it's known as the most dramatic section of the trail as we make our way up to Twister Falls, also known as uh, Eagle Creek Falls sometimes, more commonly. But, oh boy, yep. I can see exactly why <laughs> yikes okay here we go yeah looking down that canyon will give you a little bit of vertigo Woo! This is the perfect lunch spot before I turn around and head back. Jessica? Yes, YouTube. What'd you bring for lunch? I'm so glad you asked. Let me show you. and I'm gonna see if I can wade through that water and go show you guys the falls. Just in case you guys can't wade through the water and make it there, I wanna make sure I can show you, hopefully, fingers crossed. I am here again at the lower punch bowl falls. So I've decided what I'm gonna do once I cross is I'm gonna put all everything I can't get wet into like a little wrap and I'm gonna stow it away and then everything that I'm cool with getting wet, it can dry out, I'll put in my pack and then I'll probably wade through and kind of pick my way along. So first I'm gonna start with the crossing and then we'll start working our way over, over the boulder collapse that kind of blocked my way last time. Step one done, step two, go as far back as I can and then stow my stuff. I kind of just, threw my shoes on and didn't even zip up my pack for this part because I know I'm going to be taking the shoes off and taking the pack off again. So. And I already know what to expect over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I have now emptied the pack of all the valuables and I think I'm going to wear the shoes. I'm going to sacrifice them. I'm going to try to not get them wet, but if they get wet, so be it. It's only two miles to the park. Um, so let's see how it goes. Well, I made it over the boulder. Wet shoes for sure. Um, but I get the best view. Still deciding if I'm going to climb down and uh, and swim, swim over. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. We will see. All right, I couldn't resist. I came down. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Ooh, feels good actually. As long as it doesn't seem like it's gonna get deeper than my head, I think I'll. I took a swim, so there's no stay and dry on this one, but got a great view of the falls. All right, wanderers, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's all said and done, it's gonna be about 13 miles and 1200 vertical feet. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I hope you got a lot of really great trail details that'll help you when planning this trip. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you on the next wandering.